What's up buddies and friends? My name is Taryn the Happy Guy and I hope you're all having a shining day. I know I am because I get to entertain you guys. And welcome to Let's Play Silent Insanity Psychological Trauma or PT for short. Now this game is an older game by, by Poison Games and one that I've been meaning to get to for a while. It looks awesome and it looks really fun. Now one thing you guys might want to know about this game is it was inspired by Silent Hill PT if you guys know what that game is. And I'm also going to be playing with my controller again like I have recently with all the Poison Games games because their controller supported. The only thing that's not supported is interact uh, is using the, the, the controller to interact with doors. I don't know why, but everything else I can interact with with my controller except for doors. I have to press the F button on my keyboard just to interact with doors, but that's all right. Anyways, I actually practiced the first seven levels off camera. No, I didn't go through the whole game. There are at least 17 levels in this game. So we're going to go through Insanity all the way from Insanity 0 to Insanity 17. Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. Edgar Allan Poe. And this is going to be a bit of a longer let's play, so kick back, relax, get your snacks, your drinks ready. I got my drink ready. It's brisk tea, and it has caffeine in it. And you know anything with caffeine in it is the treat that can't be beat, because it keeps you hydrated and energized and ready for whatever you're trying to tackle in life, whether it's videos, sports, or anything. Caffeine is the best. There it goes, Taryn the Happy Guy, advertising caffeine. Because it's the best. And I'm not lying about that. Caffeine is great. Alright. What goeth on in this first nightmare? Is that a picture of me and my family? Or is that just a random picture of two random people? Ooh, an ashtray. Maybe I can smoke a cigarette and chill for a while. Rather than have to live through this damn nightmare. It doesn't seem like a nightmare so far. It actually, it actually seems pretty calming. Except with the static in the background. That's a bit creepy. What is that? A battle between the Trojans and some other types of soldiers that I don't know about? And what's this? A uh, painting of a boat. A very nice boat to be exact. Alright. What's that? Is that a wooden chair? A wooden chair that looks like one of those plastic long cha lawn chairs. I have never seen a chair like that before. What's that? A teddy bear? Don't you st stop watching me, Mr. Teddy Bear. I don't like you. Actually, kind of creepy. I don't trust you. Does this lead to anywhere? Oh, yes, it does. It leads to a flickering light and a, a picture with a language I do not understand because I am too much of an idiot. Anyways... Shall we continue? I think we shall. Okay, locked. What about this one? Locked! How wonderful! What about this? Oh, there's another creepy teddy bear watching me and looking into my soul. You know, can you turn the static down? It's a bit loud. Yeah. Ooh, looks like a comfortable recliner. Oh, what's this? We got we got an ashtray here. We got some snacks, some pizza. Yeah, just kick back, relax, enjoy enjoy some some uh, pizza, some snacks, and watch some Netflix on this TV. Can I watch some Netflix? No? Well, then fuck you. I won't smoke cigarettes, though, because cigarettes are bad for you. I have relatives in my family who were smokers who uh, didn't do very well in their health. And I know this from experience. Not saying I smoked. I'm talking about my family members who smoked and are not doing well now. So don't smoke, kids. It's bad for you. If you're ever, you know, pushed to do it, whether it's peer pressure or something, never smoke. Not even weed, unless it's legal and it's for a medicated reason. Don't, just don't, don't, don't do drugs and don't smoke. It's bad for you. Jesus fucking Christ, that scared the shit out of me. That actually got me. Good jump scare, Poison Games. Oh my God. Fucking hell. 
I don't like that creepy music. Sounds like one of those creepy music boxes. How about you stop that right now? Can I go through here? I can. And there's nothing in here. Why is, is it? Can I go into the bathroom? No! It's cracked open, but I can't get into it somehow. Okay, that's locked. Oh, great! Creepy music mixed in with the status. Okay, why does it sound like voices whenever I get close to it? Literally, if you get close to the static, it sounds like voices. Or it sounds like you can hear the voices of the damned. Just listen. Anybody else hear those ghostly voices? I swear I hear Slenderman there too. I swear I heard Slenderman. Anything up here? Nope. Anything in here? Up here? Nope. Is this unlocked yet? Nope. Okay. Let's go through here again. Because apparently every time we go through this door, we relive the nightmare. Well, this isn't sh at least this isn't shoot your nightmare where I don't have to face a bunch of creepy interdimensional beings who want to murder my face off and go into my dreams and kill me. Okay, um, first off, my question is, why is the light bulb at the end of that hall blood red? My second question is, am I stupid enough to go towards it? And my answer is, yes, I am stupid enough to go down there, but I'm not ready to explore this just yet. I want to see if anything on this wall has changed. No. Anything over here has changed? No. Okay, good. Well, then let's go towards the creepy red light. Is this door unlocked? No, it is locked. Anything over here? No. Useless. Is this unlocked yet? Yes. Is there anything of use in here, though? No, I don't see anything. No, useless. Let us exit this bathroom. Wait, I just noticed something. Someone did forget something. There is something odd about this bathroom. No one changed the damn toilet paper. What if somebody has to go to take a shit and there's like that much toilet paper left? God damn it, people. You need to learn to take care of this place. Always change the toilet paper. God, I hate it when people do that. Don't you? You go into the bathroom and there's like that much freaking toilet paper left you're, and you, you, you just have to take it a shit and you just don't have enough to wipe your ass. I hate it when that happens. Hey, more creepy noises that I don't like. Anything? Wait, what was that? What was that? Is that a key? Yes, give me. Hey, I'm guessing... Okay, I know this is a... What a moron would think. Or a genius. Maybe, maybe for once I'm actually a genius. I'm guessing the red key goes to the red light bulb room. The r red key goes to the door where I could see the blood red light bulb. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing. Maybe that's where it goes. Yeah, that's kind of right there. That's where the foot. That's where the you know the looping, creepy sounds are coming from. From this old record player. Gotta love that vinyl. I don't really listen to vinyl. I li I listen to. I listen to music the way to our generation today does. I listen to it online on YouTube through my. And I listen to music through Pandora or Spotify or something like that. That's what I listen to my music on. I, I, I do what today's generation does. I, I'm starting to sound old. Saying today's generation. I'm not old, okay? I'm t only 21. I'm still in my younger years. Now when I get to be 60 or... F or, or, or seven hey, stop it. I'm trying to talk, damn door. When I get to 60 or 70, then I'll be considered old. But for now, I'm considered young. It sounds like there's a crying baby and that creepy-ass looping sound that I'm hearing in my headphones right now. Which I don't like, can you stop? That's a lot. Can you stop it? I don't like that! Nope, I'm actually- I'm just gonna get out of here right now, fuck that. Nope, nope, goodbye. Can I get in here? Up, yep, that's unlocked. Anything of importance in here? No! Useless. And I'm guessing there's nothing in here either that's of, that's of importance. Nope, just two more boxes. Nothing in here. Nope, nothing in here. 
Okay, well, let's go back through here. And go into the next insane level. Why is the phone ringing? I hear a phone ringing, but I don't know where it's coming from. Is it the cell phone? Why is there blood on that painting? Did somebody get slaughtered in here? I don't like that. Wait! Wait, I see that! The picture changed! There's a creepy lady looking directly on me, at me right now in that painting. You guys see that? That changed! See, I'm paying, I'm paying attention. I'm not that much of an idiot. And since when was there a, tra a trail of blood and boards leading to this area? More blood. Blood leading to more blood. That's a good sign. That's always a good sign in a horror game. You know, any anytime you, you know, you see blood leading to more blood, you just keep going. You don't stop. You just don't even think. You're just like, oh, more blood. Yay. Great. That's locked. Nice. What about this? Is this locked? Oh, yay. That's locked, too. That's... You know, it's kind of going to be kind of hard to hear you over the phone with all that goddamn static in the background. Hello? Uh, yes, um, is there a Mr. Ghostface on the other side of that phone? No. Well, I'd rather not hear Ghostface because he's a creepy murderer. And I don't want to deal with him either. Apparently, this is my British accent because I'm a weirdo. Ah, uh, yes. Can somebody pick up the goddamn phone, please, on the other side? No? It's going to go silent? Well, that's not creepy at all. I'm almost starting to think Ghostface or some other murderer is stalking me through the telephone. I don't like that. Okay, and then the next nightmare we go. Oh, the, 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 uh, the phone's back. The, pho the phone is actually di dialing now. Anything else about that painting changed? Nope, the creepy lady's still staring at me. Well, uh, yeah, almost everything in this area right here has changed. The light bulb's red, the creepy lady's on there, there's still blood all over the wall. Oh, goody, that's a good sign. What about this? Can I get to hear you again? Oh, blood leading to more blood. Once again, that's a good sign. What about this? Anything in here? Nope, nothing of importance. Well, I'm out of here. Screw you. What about through here? Is there anything in here that's important? Let's see. Nope, except the fact that this area is randomly glowing red. I'm guessing there's nothing in here either. No, there is not. Good. Great. Glad. You know, once again, like I said, it's going to be a bit hard to hear the phone with your freaking static going on. Hello. No one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Except... Hi, yes, uh, Mr. Ghostface, I'm trying to reach you on account of the fact that you're trying to murder me and stalk me. I fuck you, and I bid you a good day, sir. Goodbye. Beep. Oh, there's your message. If Ghostface is on the other side, then that is my message to him. I don't know why I decided to come bring us all of a sudden. I just, I like to do it because it's good. And it's good, good fun, sir. It's good fun, brother. Yes, brother. Okay. I've been watching too much Call Me Coda lately. Uh, a YouTuber who was actually mentioned and uh, featured in, a, in one of the Markiplier's, Markiplier is Exiled videos. He's pretty cool. Uh, is that a guitar? Can I play some tunes? Maybe to relax myself? No? Well, then screw you. Can I get through here? Yes, I can. Can, not clan. Is that creepy ass looping sound again? And now it's dark! Oh, that's a good sign! It's dark now! I like that! No, not really. <laughs> Somebody save me! Oh, wait, now I can see the, pa the, the picture a bit better. Yeah, that is a creepy picture. I don't like that. Anything through here yet? No, I just punch my way through it. So that's 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 what I do in this game. I just punch everything I see because I don't care. I'll just punch anything and just make my fist bloody. I don't care. I'll punch anything I want. Not babies, though. Babies are too cute to be punched. Just so are kittens and puppies. Let those be the only three things I won't I won't punch in this game. Puppies, kittens, and babies. Except if it's Slender Baby. Then Slender Baby will get his pu face punched. What about in here? La 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 la. 
Nope, nothing. Oh, now the creepy lady's on the TV screen! Oh, she is not pretty! Look at her face! There's blood all over her! Her face is not pretty, and I just don't like that one bit. Okay, I'm getting the fuck out of here. On to the next day. On the next insane level. No? Really? There's gotta be a key around here somewhere to get through that door, because I can't go through it yet. What about the bathroom? Did I miss anything in the bathroom? Okay, that key was not there before. Are you are you really trying to drive me insane and play tricks on my mind game? Ha, huh, got it. What you gonna do now? That's right, you ain't gonna do nothing because I'm too badass for you. Get some. I don't know why I just told the toilet to get some, but all right, that's how weird I am. How much more insanity do we have to go through in the next psychological tr trauma? That's what the name of the game is, so I'm just guessing. Am I gonna have to fight? If I don't have to fight any enemies in this one, I'm gonna be thankful because I don't want to deal with any ghostly demons of the night that want to murder my face off in this one. How about you go fuck yourself right now? No, I don't want none of that. Is that the ghostly demon I'm gonna be facing in the next n nightmare? Or nightmares? Is it gonna make that sound? Because if it is, I don't want to face it at all. I just want to go. I just want to go to a corner and cry like a little baby. <laughs> I am a brave. I am a brave, strong man. I will face this like the awesome, terror of the happy guy that I am. All right, let's see what's in here. Okay, let's see. Is there a key in the toilet? No, there's not. I d I would have. I just expected there to be a key there since there was a key there before. Okay, can oh I can't get through there. Anything in here? What the fuck? Why is there a baby crib and a teddy bear? I'm starting to think maybe this is symbolizing a child. Oh, oh, there's a dark backstory behind this, isn't there? I'm thinking a woman had a miscarriage or something. Oh, oh, that must be horrible to go through. Oh, I can't imagine that. Can you imagine going through that as a woman? Oh, my mom. That's something I like to talk about a lot, but... She had a miscarriage a long time ago, and I, I know how that can be. I know how rough that can be for a woman. Oh, that's terrible. That's what I'm guessing the game is symbolizing. And now there's blood all over the screen. That's kind. Of, I'm not sure if that's true, but that's my guess on what that was symbolizing there for a minute in the game. I just, I just know it because my mom had to go through it. Okay, I still hear the same cre creepy ass looping voices. I don't see anything. I haven't seen anything change in this area yet, except, well, maybe the, the red light bulb went away, but that's about all. Okay, anything changing on the other side of this? Nope, still the same. What about in here? Why do I hear a woman now? The voices are coming from somewhere else now. That's what's changed. Is this locked or unlocked? Okay, this is unlocked. Now there's blood. Is that symbolizing someone who committed suicide? I don't know. That's, that's horrible. I, I'm seeing a lot of symbolization in this game. I'm not sure if I, I'm right or not. I'm just guessing here. Why the, the deep breaths? What the fuck? What the fuck? I swear, I just saw blood go up into the air right there. Right there! We're gonna have to face the demon of the of the night or something. I hope not. I think my guy may okay, I think the reason why this is called silent insanity is because my guy's starting to go insane. Maybe it's just me, maybe I'm going insane. Can I get through here yet? No. Okay guys, I've been wandering around for a while and I just found a key. It was right next to the pizza. Alright. On to the next level we go. This game just keeps getting creepier and creepier, to be honest. That sounds like a demonic baby. Oh, is that what the game is symbolizing? I am so sorry. Oh, miscarriage is a horrible thing to go through. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Please don't tell me that's what it's symbolizing or else I'm going to feel terrible. 
That sounds like bones cracking. I don't like that sound. That just sounds like a demonic baby. Oh. Oh, a mother who committed suicide. Oh, that's what that symbolizes. is. Oh, that is terrible. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, God, is that what that's symbolizing? Oh, man. I knew that symbolized suicide somehow. I just didn't know it was a mother who did it. Okay, I'm just going to back away slowly, Mr. Demonic Baby, because I don't want you to kill me. Oh, my God. That actually, poison, I've never seen poison games touch on such a deep subject before. Oh my god. A mother committing suicide after a miscarriage. Wow, that's horrible. Oh, oh I don't like that sound. That's a rumbly sound. Are we getting to the end of the game? Well, it's brightly lit in here right now. Wait, did we escape the freaking insanity? Okay, everything's clear in here. I think we might be reaching the end of the game. I'm not I'm not sure. Yeah, we we might be actually reaching the end. Everything seems normal right now. Yep, we may we maybe have reached the end. Or not, we may have to continue living the nightmare over. Oh, uh, please don't tell me there's zombies now. Oh, that sounds horrible. That sounds like a baby in distress. Oh, I feel terrible. I don't know why I'm the one feel terrible. That should be, should be the mother because she's the one who lost the baby. Oh, no. I am so sorry. Oh, God. Oh, lady. I am sorry. Oh, this is, this is getting deep now. Oh. Oh, God. That's horrible. That was a creepy ass jump scare! I didn't like that! Oh, I'm sorry, little baby. Oh, I feel terrible. I really hope that's not what this is this game is touching on. Any woman out there on the cha on my channel who's had to go through that, I'm sorry. Wow, I just I mean if that's poison what poison games was meaning to do do with this game was, you know, touch on that subject, good job, man, because why well, I'm sure I'm, I'm pretty, pretty I'm not sure all mothers out there you know would want to commit suicide after losing a baby. Some women actually just live through it, and you know there have been accounts on mothers who have who have lost who have lost a child and actually killed themselves afterwards. And I'm not gonna go into the subject of suicide or you know miss or, or anything horrible because I don't like talking about it. This is supposed to be you know a community all about happiness and happy guy. That's me. And, but, I mean, in this, in this episode, we'll, you know, we'll touch on the subject. Oh, God. That baby sounds like he's in distress. Okay, you know what? Fuck you, Mom. I'm not trusting you now. You moved. You're a zombie, Mama, aren't ya? How many more insane levels do we have to go through that actually... Uh, cell phone's vibrating. Goodbye, sweetie. Are you talking to me? Cause I don't like that. Uh, was that the mother that was talking to me? That lost her child? Oh, a gun. Can I have it? Get me! Oh, please don't tell me that's the mom I have to kill. Oh, God. I'm sorry, lady. Sorry. 
Oh god, wow! That was horrible! Did I really have to do that? And I'm having to do terrible things I don't want to do in the game! But is the nightmare over? Hold on. I'm guessing it's not over. Everything seems normal in here. Everything seems normal in there. Is that it? This is, this is, that might be it, I'm not sure. Wait, oh, that door wasn't open before. That's a new door that was uh, that just opened up. This. That wasn't symbolizing miscarriages. This was symbolizing the next chapter of Poison Games. Games! Z-Day Shootout! Isn't it? Which I've already played Z-Day Shootout on my channel, but I didn't know that's what it was doing. Because I think this is symbolizing the outbreak to, uh, to Z-Day Shootout. Maybe, I'm not sure. Yep, because those are zombs, zombs. So that's probably what it symbolizes. Yep, 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 yep. I was right. I was right. I was right. That was symbolizing. The well, where am I? Why does blood just keep on gathering on the walls? What's going on here? Oh, what is going on here? I don't like this. I'm seriously starting to wonder what's going on here because it just... Did I go insane and murder everyone? Oh, that's the electric chair. After a psychotic breakdown, uh, father shot dead his wife and his baby son. He then went outside his house and killed seven people on the street before police arrested him and put him in the asylum. Oh my god, there wasn't a miscarriage going on there. He, I murdered my wife and son and I was freaking put in the mental asylum. Oh my god. He told the police and the doctors that they are all zombies. Oh, that's fucking... That was... Wow. That is an ending I did not expect. Oh my god, Poison Games. Amazing drop. Keep doing what you're doing, man. I love your games. That was an awesome game, by the way. For a minute, I thought the game was, was touching there on miscarriages. And trust me, I know what that can be like. My mom had to go through it. It's a horrible thing to go through. Uh, but... Apparently there was more to it than that. The guy was going through a freaking psycho mental breakdown and he murdered his wife and his kid. So that was an awesome game. Please go follow Poison Games on all his social media, his game drill page. He also has an official website. Go check that out. I'll put the links to all of his social media and all that in the description below. So you guys can like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, like and follow my Facebook page as well. Hit me up on Instagram. Or send me fan art on Tumblr because I would love to see your creativity. I put the links to all my social media in the description below. Go check me out on there if you haven't already. And do not forget to smack that like button with the whoosh of awesomeness. 
pound those keys till you get some awesome good comments in there and tell me what you thought of this game in the comment section below and always remember stay humble and stick with your friends gamers community unite and i will see you guys next time bye bye everyone thank you so much for watching the zombie lady says if you haven't already then please smack that like button share this video with your friends and hit that subscribe button and join our supportive community today and if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can stay updated for newer videos